Have you ever wondered why some local businesses pop up everywhere online while others seem invisible, maybe even yours? That can be super frustrating, but don't worry. In this video, whether you are a cafe owner, a boutique shop manager, or you're running a local service business, we're gonna teach you three simple things that you can do on a regular basis that are simple and easy to do. You don't require any technical SEO knowledge. They don't require a ton of time to do. We're gonna talk about doing these three things and what they are. And if you do them on a regular basis, they're going to help boost your business in local Google search results and get you ranking for the things that you do in your offering so that it's not other businesses, but your business that's sucking in those customers who are searching for the product or service that you offer near them and looking to hire a great business like yours. We just gotta get you showing up. But before we do, Let's talk a little bit about why local SEO matters so much. If you've seen some of the other videos, you know the why behind the things I'm about to explain. And if you haven't seen those yet, check them out at the end because each tip that I'm going to give you, I'm gonna explain what you should be doing, but we're gonna save why you should be doing it for other videos and you can dive down that path so you can understand exactly why each thing that we're talking about matters. So why does SEO matter in general? Or why does each of these things factor into your success? Google is the number one highway for where people go to find or hire a local business. That's right. If you ask consumers and you can pull up tons of stats, I'm not gonna go into stats in this video, where local consumers say that they just search near me. They go in and they search, I wanna hire a lawn care business, I wanna to go to a bakery, I'm interested in Italian food. And at the end of each of those searches, they put near me. And then Google pops up the Google Maps results with a set of usually three businesses that Google thinks might be the best businesses for the person who just searched for Italian restaurant or lawn care business. And usually that person picks from those businesses. Right below that are a list of websites that are ranking for that same search. And that person may decide they wanna look at the website and decide from there. So if your business doesn't show up in those first few spots, when somebody searches for the service or product or restaurant type that you are, then you have very little chance of them actually finding and selecting your business as the one that they choose to go to. So anything that you can do to help improve your local search rankings is going to help increase the likelihood that more customers will find you in the first place. And thus, if more people are finding you, a good chance that they're going to convert and actually become a customer of your business and hopefully a lifelong customer at that. So without further ado, let's jump into these three simple things that you can be doing on a regular basis to help improve the local SEO for your business. First up, let's talk about Google Business Profile. By keeping your information up to date, responding to reviews, posting regular updates, you're not just managing your online reputation, you're boosting your visibility. Most people don't realize that. So the first thing that I'd offer that you should be doing is looking at your Google business profile and first and foremost, making sure that you're getting a steady stream of reviews. Now that happens in the store or as part of your service. And I have other videos on that to talk about ways that you can encourage reviews. What needs to happen though, is that you get a steady stream of reviews. Why? Well, Google likes a steady stream of reviews because it helps them understand that you have a thriving business. When you're getting reviews on a regular basis, Google's like, hey, this business is getting great reviews. They're getting them on a regular basis. This is probably the business we should pull up because we can clearly tell it's thriving. The other thing that you should do is post photos. It's really easy to do, but post photos to your Google business profile. Why? It adds keywords because Google scans those images for keywords. I talk about that in more depth in other videos, but adding those photos gives Google more keywords and more context about your business. Great. It also keeps your profile active all the time. And now customers who go to your Google business profile trust it because they're seeing up-to-date photos of your business or your business in action makes them more likely to select your business as Google sees these actions happening. It helps improve your visibility. So let's talk a little bit more about reviews. Did you know that a simple thank you for your feedback can go a long way? Engaging with customer reviews, whether that's good or bad, shows you care. So imagine a local hardware store where the owner personally thanks customers for their suggestions. That's a store that you'd remember, right? And not only will the consumer remember it, but it's also going to help encourage Google to remember your business in a number of different ways. In one way, Google loves interaction. So engagement and interaction happening on your profile is just a good ranking signal for Google. And number two, when other customers see that you are responding to people on Google, they're more likely to leave a review because they know that you're engaged with the reviews. 
Great. And they know that's going to matter to you. Great. So now you've just reinforced point number one, where you're getting a steady stream of review. And now you're reinforcing in two ways, the way that your business can come up. And we haven't talked about anything super hard yet. We've just talked about posting photos and encouraging reviews on your profile. That's tip number one, right? Keeping that content there up to date. And tip number two, we've just talked about responding to the reviews and the impact that have. That's super easy to do. You just have to stay on top of it. Now, point number three, sprinkling local keywords throughout your website and all of your marketing assets. So it's like leaving breadcrumbs for the search engines. For instance, if you are a florist in Boston, you could use phrases like best roses in Boston or Boston bridal bouquets. This way, when someone's looking for flowers in Boston, guess whose name is more likely to pop up? So see how I'm talking about localized keywords. I'm saying, here's my business or my products or services, and here's where I offer it is in this area, right? That's how you're localizing the context for Google. Now, where you should put this is on that FAQ section of your Google business profile, potentially in the products or services section of your Google business profile. You could even do it in posts on your Google business profile and on your website. Now, if you use Mighty Sites for your website, that link's below, it's really easy to add relevant keywords in your services section, your about section, all that. Just localize them. Say, here's who I am, here's where I operate my business, here's the services provide, and here's where we provide them. It's the companies that keep that content up to date regularly that start coming up in Google. If you even have a blog for your business, having a regular blog that talks about localized keywords. So maybe if I'm a lawn care business, I'm in Denver, Colorado, I'm gonna talk about overseas in the spring, your lawn in Denver, Colorado. I'm going to talk about landscaping services and tips in Denver, Colorado, right? And I'm going to localize my blog with content on a regular basis. That's going to sprinkle more and more keywords, local keywords into my business website and my Google business profile. I'll even take that blog and post it to my Google business profile with a little snippet about the information that's contained in the blog. So tip number three is all about keeping content up to date with localized keywords in mind. So as you're adding information to your website and your Google business profile, localize the content and it's also going to help your business come up more. So in conclusion, optimize your Google business profile, actively managing reviews, and posting photos to your Google business profile and thinking about localized keywords and the things that you write can significantly elevate your local SEO. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and like it. So share it with others. We're offering tons of tips about how to increase visibility for your local business. Thanks for joining me. And hey, while you're at it, check out the next video as we talk about more ways to add keywords and optimize your business online presence to get you found more, which means more customers for you.